See, that's what's so cool about pool skating there too, is that you're taking something that was totally made for another purpose. So it's got some sexy curves because of the fact that a lot back in the day, aesthetically, that was where architecture was at. So we're tapping into something like architecture, which is art, and we're using it for a completely different thing than what the original artist created that surface for. So that's what's pretty sick about skating pools, is that yeah. you're actually tapping in to something that was just made for little, you know, people to enjoy, you know, filled with water, recreationally, and you're taking it to this aggressive, artistic, creative level, which is really, really special, I think. The natural drive of skateboarder is to basically conquer all terrains. So even if you had 20 public parks in a given area, people are still gonna slap a curb or do a wall ride skating down the street or, you know, they're gonna spot an empty pool through a fence. They're still gonna ride it, you know what I mean? Welcome back to the letters, yeah. Backyard pools. You can't ride my pool, man. You can't come. Dude, guy, see the sanctity, the sacred ground. You're gonna blow it out. Fuck you. They're supposed to be blown out. We gotta fucking make sure it sticks around so me and my three friends can do a block and a half grind. <laughs> this is Tony Farmer. Tell him what you know. It's absurd. People take it way too fucking seriously. So, I mean, you're rolling around in a pond. You know, big deal. It's, I mean, I love it because it's, it's super fun and you go... See that, that, that? It is, it's still, to me, it's still like this last bastion of something that is kind of punk. Though, yeah. because it, inc it incorporates the coolest shit about skateboarding, why we're into it, in that, you know, you're riding this thing that's not supposed to be skated, and it's, you know, the more fucked up it is, kind of the better, and you're probably trespassing, and you're fucking up the private property, and, you know. It's illegal. Right, it's, you know, it, it, it is, it's still kind of punk. Shit's gonna be underground no matter how much everybody blows it up. It's like you're sneaking in the fucking backyard, trespassing, skating pools. Who cares? It's a, it's a kind of a weird level playing field too because they're like you can. You can get a, a, a group of dudes, you can get a couple of street skaters, or you can get a couple of pool dudes, you can get, get a couple of fucking vert trogs, and you can all go out and skate a backyard pool and everybody's gonna bring something different. Delgado, like, you're gonna see Delgado go right up this hip that you cannot get up. Sometimes uh, when you're riding pools, the neighbors don't think that it's too cool, you know. It's not like riding a park, you have to sneak in. So they get uptight and they call the cops and stuff, so we can't hang out for too long. We usually have to split and go get rowdy somewhere else. It's the whole adventure, you know, find the pool, clean it out. Is it skatable? Are you going to get busted? Does it work? I mean, that's the best thing about it. And no one's there but you and your friends. I mean, that's the big difference for me is, you know, tricks versus lines. You know, so kind of try to do a combination of both. That's the best guys, you know what I mean? But uh, lines are what it's all about, for sure. Just connecting all the lines and trying to get all the obstacles going. You know, everyone's brain is gonna see different things and, and you might miss something. Oh, fuck, why didn't I think of that? And then that opens up something else. You're like, oh wait, if I go over that, then the fuck lines me up, you know, 
to the shallow pocket. Next thing I know, it's off the hip and over the stairs, then the death box and look out for the drain and, and then you're gasping for breath. Tony, we'll bail and we'll lift it up to you guys. You guys throw it up over in the plants over there. The Mad Dog tribe have staked out a private swimming pool. And as soon as the coast is clear, they move in. A pool is just as relevant as a ledge or a stair set or a handrail or Anything like that. I mean, it's just, I don't know, if you, if you respect and appreciate skateboarding, you have an appreciation for pool skating as well. Whether it's your discipline, you know, that's, that's your own choice, you know. You don't have to do it, but you can appreciate it. I think most people can appreciate it. Oh, shit, look at that! No! no. Yeah, that's Vile Hollow, home hey. of the pool god. There's too many workmen down there. Who cares? Let's go, James. Get us over to uh, Garden James, Grove. Yeah, James. Yeah, James. That's what most drivers are called, right? Yeah. Well, not this driver. Bingo! That's it, right there. Yeah. Yeah. You'll never find the same exact pool ever. Every pool's different because uh, the coping sticks out different, the tile, the hip, the love seat, the death box, the stairs. I mean, there's so many different shapes of freaky pools. And uh, yeah, they're all just different and awesome. And sometimes you might look at the greatest pool ever and be like, this pool rules. And then you can't even, for some reason, there's something in there you didn't see when you're draining it, you know? All kinks. <laughs> I think they weren't made to skate in, and it's just amazing that they ended up being that good. Backyard pools show who's truly adaptable to like to foreign terrain. It's a network. It's a it's a crew of dudes, and everybody knows who they are. You know the guys. If you if you ride, you know who they are, and you'd be fortunate enough to get in with those dudes. You know, because those dudes aren't. They're not just gonna give those away. You gotta kind of like. You gotta be down with some people, or know some people, or know something. Either that, you just gotta go find the shit yourself. Like staring at girls, what turns you on? Yeah, it's a lot like the uh, You know? It is, everybody it's porn. Especially, you know, for people that are really into pools like us, it, it's borderline porn. This has been Jeff Grosso for Love Letters. This is Tony Farmer. Go skateboard. Yeah.